Well, hello everybody. Kraken Bake here. Having another episode of I Definitely Know What I'm Doing. Glad to have everybody come along with who was able to come hang out. Got a got a fairly nice autumn day around here and just seemed like a good time to to get some minecrafting in. Hope everyone's having a good good day. If we got uh Got Halloween coming up, so we'll try and do a little bit of Halloween-themed things. Otherwise, just kind of getting some work done around our our base area. So yeah, thanks for thanks for coming along, and we'll uh, we'll get into it. So let's see, we got to get our armor back on. We had to kind of quit abruptly last time, since uh, baby decided to wake up before before I was quite ready to get to a good uh, good stopping area but here we are and for those who are able to tune in last time or catch a recap you may recall this traveling uh, traveling trader here has one less uh, llama going along with because we got ourselves a new a new friend inside of our barn so let's go let's go say hey to our our first addition to our our barn here this very fancy llama haven't really decided what to to name them yet but they'll just keep hanging out and being our our new barn mascot otherwise since we have halloween coming up um, i figured we do a little bit of of fun with that uh, we've gotten a nice supply of pumpkins going around the base so we'll go ahead and kind of grab those and carve ourselves some jack-o-lanterns seems like it's about time to to carve up a few of those all right I think then all we gotta do is we just stick them here or, or no that makes pumpkin seeds we gotta actually lay them out and then we can is it just clicking on it let's see nope that's not it see pumpkins used to just always have a face on them so never had to worry about it before uh you know i wonder it's probably shears isn't it shears seems like a thing do I have shears yet? I maybe haven't bothered making any. We've got plenty of iron though, so we might as well do that. Get some shears. And haha, -ha, there we go. We got ourselves a nice old nice old jack-o'-lantern there. Which, since we have a nice carved pumpkin. Might as well get into some spooky themes here. And, you know, make it so we can't see anymore. But that's alright. It's all for the sake of a good costume. We already got another pumpkin that decided to grow up over here. We're going to have a whole bunch of them. Alright, we'll just get a line of these guys going up. Boy, this really cuts out the peripheral vision. Get a good line of them going so we can just kind of make our way down the path. Ooh, it's getting spooky in here. Uh, just fun. I always like getting the, the carved faces on the pumpkin. It's a little bit of a shame that you can't, uh, can't carve something else on them, but make different kinds of faces or if it may be automatically generated, you know, one of four options or something. But that's all right. All right, we will then... Go ahead and pick all these up, because while they may be carved pumpkins, they still aren't quite jack-o'-lanterns, which thankfully we got uh, quite a few torches, so we can remedy that nice and nice and quick. Boy, I don't think I'm going to be able to handle doing the whole episode with this pumpkin head on, but... It is kind of fun, getting that little, little different view there. 
All right, let's see. So we can go ahead then and make a couple of jack-o'-lanterns. I don't know how many we want to make. At least 10 to start out with. All right, and then we'll go ahead and stick these all around. Where's going to be a couple of good spots? Well, our front door, obviously, so the trick-or-treaters know that we're open for business. It's a little... A little dark and spooky out there right now though, so we might have to might have to sleep first to to make it a little bit safer to just go sticking our jack-o'-lanterns out. Alright, there we go. Whew. Yeah, let's uh let's make it a little bit more visible just in case there's something out here we don't want to run into. All right, looks like we're good. And let's see. I suppose we should have our jack-o'-lanterns at the uh, the walkway entrance so that people know to, to come on by to our house. Let's see, do I have? Yes, good. All right, there we go. We got a nice, nice entrance there so people know to come on by. Of course, I don't really have much for candy if anyone does come by. We got a lot of sugar cane. I suppose we could make some uh, cakes or something. Not very traditional for Halloween, but yeah. And then let's see. Maybe we'll put one right here. Another one right here. Get those good spooky faces staring us down. Maybe another one right over by our... Oops. Right over by our chests, perhaps. I suppose we can stick some... Maybe on this side, even, just to give us that little, little signal we're heading out the door. Just kind of getting a little bit of extra fun decorations, because why not? And then, of course, we can get some, some jack-o'-lanterns going at the, uh, the ends of our, where we'll have our, uh, I don't know, fence area, fenced-in spot. Just to, again, make it a nice, nice spooky themed. And, I don't know, maybe one, like, right there, just for good, good measure. All right, I like it. Just kind of gives that little extra Halloween ambiance to, to everything we got going on. Go ahead and do a little, little bit of this housework around while we got got all that going. Oh, hey, nice! I got a lot of pumpkin seeds from from those jack o' lanterns. I don't know if anyone else had a chance to carve some pumpkins. We we were able to get one carved up this year. Always a a fun tradition. Let's see. I think these potatoes must be ready to go, right? We'll try one. Yeah! Potatoes! Oh, you only get one potato? How the heck are you supposed to plant more if you only get one for one? Hmm. Wondering if I did something wrong with these potatoes. Yeah, because it just replants the one. Unless I may be harvesting too early on those. Oh, yep, I was harvesting too early. Gotta go for the tall vines. It's hard to tell the difference on. Ooh, I got a lot off of that one. Look at all these potatoes. Oh, I stepped on one, that's why. Well, okay, that works. That works. Nice. Getting a little, little bit more crops going around here. Gonna need those for our hopefully soon-to-be-filled-up barn. 
All right, that'll be enough. Uh, enough of that housekeeping for a little bit. All right, so we can go ahead and get working then on on our fence here some more. And I was thinking I might have um, kind of the first outer part be like a stone cobblestone fenced area, and then we can have the inner fences be like the wooden fencing. I think I like that plan a little bit better. All right, so we'll have to go over here and get some cobblestone going to, to do that with. Boy, I'm getting a full inventory. should probably make another chest. I think this one was getting pretty full. Eh, this one's still got some room. I suppose I could put my car pumpkin back on. Now that we're kind of out of a danger zone. And now we have two extra potatoes. I suppose we could just put a couple of the carved pumpkins out too, just for just for fun. Let's see. Maybe we'll put one kind of make it look like we've got like a little end table or something by our bed. It just has a well, and actually if we're gonna do it that way, I better make it into another jack-o'-lantern. Cause if we're gonna have a Kind of like it's our, our night light by the bed. We got our jack-o'-lantern keeping watch over our area. Then we can stick out. I suppose we could even just kind of line them up over here. Should I just turn them all into jack-o'-lanterns? Probably. No reason to be skimpy here. All right, we got that one, we got that one, and right there we got that one. Nice. Good. Get some of these torches back. They're not exactly spaced out uh, perfectly or anything, but, you know, just kind of adds that f extra fun element. All right, I got to take this off. At least for now. We'll maybe, we'll maybe stick it back on later, but I got to be able to see. Oh, and we got more pumpkins coming in already. All right, let's drop off some stuff we don't need right at the moment. Got all these extra shovels. Thought I was going to be needing a ton of those, but ended up kind of kind of getting to the end of that. Oh, let's see. Do we have Oh, I had some iron on me already. What do you know about that? Alright, we'll call that good for the time being, I guess. Because we're going to be needing some of this, at least. Um, I think let's build another chest, maybe, like... I don't know. Somewhere. Can you stack chests right on top of each other, or does there have to be room? We'll find out. Alright, how many did I make there? Twelve? It's probably not enough for a double chest, is it? There we go. Alright. We can try then. Oh, nice. It does work. That makes things a lot easier. You know what? This can just be our dirt chest. Grab all this dirt out of here, because that is one resource you definitely get plenty of. Oh, hey, look at that. Go ahead and stick that back up there, just because sometimes you do need that little extra dirt when you're out wandering. And then we'll go back in here and grab some cobblestone. I don't think... Nope, I hadn't made any walls or anything, so we'll just grab a good chunk. And I don't know. I don't know how many we'll need, but we'll grab a bunch. You know, we're, we're probably going to need at least a stack there. All right. Yeah, that was too many. Oh, well. We'll probably find use for them down the line. Do, 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 do. Well, we're going to have to be careful with this guy now, because... We don't want to let them uh, let them get free here. All 
Was one of these a gate? Doesn't look like it. Well, speaking of Halloween, I know the last time I had gotten on and, and was talking about it, I kind of, whoops, kind of mentioned that the Halloween costume was going to be secret. Well, I finally had my uh, Halloween party, so we did get to reveal the the family group costume. Um, so for those of you who were still interested, we did end up going as a family, as the Wonder Twins. For those of you who know that reference, surprisingly a decent number of the people at the party did not know who the Wonder Twins were, which was kind of funny, kind of sad. Um, something for us to tease them about. Does that? I guess that works. Um, but for those of you who who also maybe don't know, the Wonder Twins being alien twins as a part of the, I think it was the League of Justice Friends, um, they would uh, say, Wonder Twins power is activate, and they would change forms, and I don't know if the lore was that they could change into any form they wanted, but the, the sister always turned into... Um, some sort of animal. Uh, from what I remember, she usually would turn into like a hawk or eagle or something and fly off. Uh, and then the, the brother... I feel like it was anything weather-based, um, but it also might have been like elemental-based. Um, but yeah, he was always always kind of got made fun of just because it'd be like, oh, he turned into, turned into a gust of air or something. Um... But as a kid, I definitely, definitely enjoyed the both of them, and uh, never, never found any issues with the, the way the costumes or that their powers worked out. So, so yeah, that was kind of our, that was our fun nostalgia we got to, got to play around with. All right, you, no going too far. I think we will put. You know what, we can just put that fence post back, like, right... Where the heck did it go? There it went. Right there. All right, and then we put the lead back on you, and back on the fence post. Perfect. Because remember, you are my llama now. I wonder if that trader is still hanging around, or if they finally gave up. Well, let's eat some of this bread. Do, 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 do. All right, so we kind of got this area built out and expanded then. I think our next step is to kind of cor make quarters. Um, so I was thinking we could do like Hmm. I guess we'll maybe measure it out this way. So I more or less want to make sure we get one sheep into each spot. Ah, oh, dang. Of course it wouldn't work like that. And I suppose we'll want a gate in front of each? More or less the idea being that we can have kind of a first section here where the colored sheep can be. And then we'll have like a back pen where our breeding sheep will be. So maybe maybe we'll kind of do it like this. And we can have a gate here for getting in and out. And that's where we'll put the breeding sheep. And then otherwise... Boy, if that llama's going to be making loogie noises over there. Maybe we won't keep them around. Well, okay, so that is going to have a one open space. So maybe, maybe we'll go ahead and... Because we want to keep our color sheep kind of all corralled in one spot um, so that they're easier to access. But 
then oh yeah that's not quite gonna work where we put that gate I guess we'll have to adjust that uh, where's my pick so this will be just a touch off center but that's okay because we're gonna want then see that's just how it goes with Minecraft you gotta you start mapping stuff out and then you realize it didn't quite match how you were planning in your head so you gotta just kinda reshape it and realign oh that worked out nice though I got this perfect path right there I was looking for alright we'll do that so it looks like we'll be able to have six colored sheep kinda back up in this area, which more or less matches what I'm going to want for this theme, the cryptids theme. Um, well, I figured I, rather than having a giant sheep farm, I'd more or less just kind of re-dye the sheep based on the colors we're going for at the time. And then otherwise we'll kind of have our baseline sheep that'll be back here. So like the, whoops, the whites and uh, grays, you know, just kind of those standard standard colors that'll just kind of keep making us more baby sheep. Oh, just ran out. All right, so we're going to need, what, one, two, three, four more? Four more fence, and then... Well, and do we want to just make these fence posts? No, it's nice to be able to go into the sheep area if you have to. So we'll need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more gates. Go ahead and get that there. I wonder if I have enough wood for all of that offhand. We might have to go harvest some more. We'll find out. So I'm going to need more planks, and I'm going to need more sticks, but we'll get more. More planks, a couple more sticks. A few more planks then. Three, four, five, six, and seven. And then what I'd say, one, two, three, four, oh! Actually, we don't need... That'll do it. All right. There we go. Yeah, I made way too many of the cobblestone wall pieces. Oh, well. Like I said, we'll maybe find a use for him down the line. I kind of like the, the breakup, though, that it has. It's kind of like it's the old wall. We had the old stairs leading into the barn area, the old wall surrounding it. But then we got the, the more modern wood piece that, that loops around. I just wish it connected. I don't know if there's really a way you can do that. I suppose I could just put a solid block. We'll experiment with that. See what we see what we feel like, but Alright, so there's that. Oh shoot. Well, what was I using before? Thought it was all oak so far. Well, that connected just fine. Hmm. Well, dang. That's not quite lining up at all. Of course, I don't know, it's kind of nice having that distinction of the gate door. It makes it just a little easier to track. It's kind of a weird that it drops down like that, I wonder. Oh, because of the height of the cobblestone wall. Okay. That kind of makes sense, almost. Hmm. Which, I don't think... I'll have enough just fence pieces if I just do it this way. Or no, we'd have enough. 
So I guess for consistency, at least along the back, we'll, we'll keep it all oak. But then otherwise I had done spruce for the rest. Oh well. You can only tell the difference quite a bit. Uh, we'll see how long it takes till that bugs me, but uh, yeah, that's what we did for now, so I guess that's what we're stuck with. Ah, oh, shoot. It's even a, a big enough opening course. Let's see. It shouldn't be enough of an opening that a full-size sheep could get through, so that actually may help with breeding. The only issue would be along the back lines here. Once we have the little baby sheep, we're not going to want them sneaking out. So I think we'll open all of those up. And then open that up. But if my theory is right, we should be able to just sneak sneak the adult sheep in through to like here, close it off, and then we can sneak out and then the the breeding sheep can sneak out. Or the baby sheep once we breed them. I guess we'll find out. Oops, going the wrong way. But otherwise, it does look like we're going to need to make this into a full block. And so I think just a piece of cobblestone. Let's, uh, we'll experiment with uh, the oak planks first. Is that... Okay, yep, that connects it all. So we do need that. Which then it does beg the question, do we want it to be cobblestone or planks? Probably cobblestone. Keep the outer wood theme going. Um, so we're going to need that, what, at all of the connecting points? Oof. Well, we'll see how it looks in the end here. Alright, so if we have it like that, just kind of makes these weird extra bubbles. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Don't know how I feel about that. It's not the worst look, but it's not what I was hoping for. I wonder if instead if we did it on the inside, so it was kind of like a connecting piece. I'm going to need another pickaxe soon, aren't I? Well, I guess we're doing a lot of experimenting with uh, how all this can work out. All right, we'll grab a big old stack of cobblestone. Get another another pickaxe because we're just about out. And I'll just get that. So our couple options we've got along this wall, we'll have it set up. So if it's the blocks. The blocks like that, which is the one kind of bubble, versus, will this work to put it in here like that? Yep, it does that. Oh, that's just a really big bubble in. Yeah, I think I'm uh, making the decision that I like it like that better. Not a big fan of how any of that worked out, but oh well. You gotta work with what you got. Oh, and there that went. Alright, so we'll drop that there. Drop the fence there. And I guess that's what we'll have to do to, to close it off. But yeah, I really did not need this many cobblestone wall pieces then. Alright, so we got all that. So again, we're going to leave the sides open... Um, for getting the baby sheep out of those spots. Um, but we wanted to have these closed off so that the baby sheep can't, can't go sneaking out um, along those sides once we get them in their corrals. And we might end up opening it up again then later once, we, uh, once they grow into adults. We'll see what happens. All right, so that then should take care of the basics.
Yeah, nice. Might play around with the design a little bit more, but I kind of like the, the way it all kind of came out where it just kind of has the rustic old thing and I, it, it'll definitely have a little bit of a different appearance once there's actually some livestock in here. So that brings us to our next point of time to go get some sheep. It's only been, what, four episodes now that I've been talking about getting some sheep into here? Oops, got a little overzealous there. All right, got that. Can get some more, some more wheat going. Let's see, did I put my hole right there? Oh, because I accidentally, accidentally knocked those seeds out. That's what happened. Do, 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 do. It's funny how even a small farm like this can just really start to get away from you where it's a way overproducing what you actually need. Oh, we look at that. We almost got a full allotment of pumpkins. You had better grow right there so we can have some uh, some patterning going. Just saying. All right, and then I think, I think these pumpkins are ready for a harvest. Yep, nice. Got a couple of pumpkins that were ready. Go ahead and replant a couple of those. Did I say pumpkins? I meant potatoes. And I think I think we'll go ahead and get the potatoes out to here, because I think the water should hydrate out that far. And that should give us more potatoes than we'll need. But if we're going to get a whole bunch of Piggly Wigglies going too at some point, we're going to gonna want plenty of... Yep, okay, good. It does hydrate out that far. We're going to want plenty of potatoes. And we might, you know, turn one of these sections into like a carrot patch if we ever find carrots. But this will be how it works for now. All right, nice. Got our housekeeping done around here. So let's go ahead and drop off our stuff. And then I suppose we don't need to bring a whole lot of wheat with us right off the bat, because we're just going to be attracting the sheep along in. Let's see then, drop all of this stuff off. Um. Oh yeah, I probably got a bunch of glass all made up. Look at that. I don't remember why we were making all that glass. Maybe we were going to expand this out. Might have to rewatch a past video to, to remind myself. I don't quite remember. But we have a bunch of glass now, so that's good. Um, yeah, I guess we don't need those. And that should do it for now. All right, so time to venture forth back out out this way and go find some sheeps. Hopefully it's nice and uneventful. Other than, you know, the sheep finding, which if I remember right, ooh, hey, mushrooms. That's nice and Halloween-y. Let's grab some of those up. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's right, you can make, like, mushroom soup. Well, thanks. Really nice to, really nice to see that appreciation there. Getting a big ol', big ol' heart and some love from, from the audience. Hope you guys are all having a having a good day there. Getting in some good fun. Glad I can uh, be a part of it and help to help to add a little extra fun here. All right, let's see. So we got cows and pigs and chicken. I feel like I feel like there were also some sheep in this general area. Oh, and you know what? We should get some. Uh, I don't think I really have much for flowers. If we're gonna dye sheep, we're gonna want. Want some colors. Uh, 
Okay. I know the village had had sheep, but I don't want to go all the way over there if we can help it. Mm, come on, sheep. I feel like I feel like I remembered passing by some sheep over in this general area. There's more pigs. A lot of pigs. Maybe I was remembering the pigs. Yeah, this is definitely the pig spot. Um, hmm. Well, the sun's starting to go down, so we're probably going to want to run back to our base. And I think... I think we might have to head back over to the village? Because I cannot seem to find any sheep over this way. And I remember there were sheep at the village, but... I'm not seeing any over here. I thought there I thought there were some over this way too. Uh-oh. The spookies are starting to come out. It is a spooky day after all. Well, I guess it's not a spooky day yet, but it's a spooky day tomorrow. So it's only fair that they all start creeping on out of there. Okay, well, Shoot. I guess I don't remember where the sheep necessarily are, but we'll uh, we'll get a good night's sleep and, and venture off again. We'll drop off these mushrooms, though. I suppose we don't need to hold on to these shears. All right. Give the sun a chance to come up, and I think to get to the village, we're going to need to need to book it a little bit, so. Alright, I don't see any creepers hanging out right here, so we're good in that respect. Oh, but there's a zomb. Is that zombie wearing armor? That just seems... Oh, no. Here, I thought he was wearing armor. That seemed... Seem mean if he was. That is the one trouble of hanging out in these dark woods is that uh, there's uh, a little too much shade for all of the nighttime creatures to not just burn up right away. You know, I wonder if there were like some sheep over there, if that's what I'm remembering. Well, we'll venture out and, and see what we come across. Good thing is, is we already got a bow tier, so whenever we do find our... Oops. Whenever we do find our sheep, it'll be easy enough to at least bring one back. Let's see. Any sheep on the shore? None that I'm noticing. Well, while we're heading off for the the village, um, well, at least we got some support of uh, probably our best bet to head off that way. So while we're on our way to the village, um, something, I don't know, just kind of a, I don't know if it's a fun fact or a goofy fact or what, but I no longer have a Facebook account through no choice of mine. Um, I was logging on and off of Facebook on... Ooh, hey, is that a moss block? Nope, just grass. Logging on and off of Facebook on my phone, and uh, apparently they decided that that was someone hacking into my account, and so for my protection, they blocked it and made it so that nobody can see me anymore. So, uh, surprise, I guess I don't don't have Facebook anymore. Which is fine. Um, it was something that I'd gotten back in high school just to keep track of events and things and that I had, you know, kept using during college and things, um, more or less for, for keeping track of events. But for a while, I've actually been kind of thinking I don't didn't really want a Facebook anymore. Um, so this is just kind of a easy way to 
get that taken care of, apparently. All right, we spotted a sheep, and I've spotted some blue flowers. Right? Yeah, good Good thing that they uh, decided to protect me from myself of logging into my own my own account. No, it, uh, I, I can understand why they, you know, have their measures, but it just seemed like a very intense, uh, ooh, hey, a brown sheep, too, nice. A very intense measure to, uh, just inflict. All right, we got a whole bunch of sheep here. The problem, too, is my recovery email is a, uh, email I don't use anymore, so... There was really no way to... Uh, I think it even got discontinued because I had had it inactive for so long. Are you hanging out right by my boat? That's just rude. Oh, shoot. They are shooting at me. Oh, jeez. Gotta go around to the other side. That was just very rude of those... Raiders sneaking up by my boat and then just abandoning or just starting to fire at me. Good thing this is like a little peninsula or something. We can get the sheep on the other side. But yeah, so the, the moral there being that I was kind of planning on getting rid of Facebook anyways, so here they just just gave me the reason to to do it, but just kind of an unexpected little little turn of events the other day. All right, sheep. We're gonna have to get moving here because those raiders set us off course for a little while. Oh, I thought the brown sheep was floating as brown wool. Come on, sheepy. You're the one I want first. Oh, you move so slow. We gotta get back before the sun goes down. All right. Now I think, if I understand correctly, I can just walk this guy over to my boat and they should hop in. If I can remember where exactly I parked it. I think... It's probably over this way a little bit more, wasn't it? I was trying to get away from those raiders, so... Oof, you are such a slow-moving sheep. Yep, there we go. All right, come on over. And right over this way, if you please. Yes, beautiful. All right, we got a sheep. I wish it wasn't uh, such a process to go get it, but there we are. Okay. I just gotta try and remember how to get back to the base from the from the village. Um, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Now I do have the coordinates if we ever got super lost and had to get our way back, but uh, in general I'm trying to just go off of memory of places and stuff. I'm um, trying to not rely on the coordinates too much for things. Okay, there we go. We got our our water city or whatever over there. That's kind of a frequent landmark I'll use. Alright. And then we should just be able to kind of hop around over that way, and we'll get back to the Turtle Beach. The heck was that? I wonder if that was a drowned or something chasing after us. Well, we are in a boat, and you can't get my sheep, so deal with it. You know, and I bet I gotta break the boat, because the sheep's in it, and I don't think it can follow me. Like, I don't think it'll dismount if I do, so. Oh my gosh, another one! 
Well, we should steal one of those llamas. All right. Um, so I think if I just... Oops. There we go. All right, sheepy. We still seem to have a decent amount of sunlight. Did I my boat? Good. Got worried for a second that I'd misplaced it. Ooh, a Nautilus shell. I know we want some of those. Might have to come back for this guy. Oh, the sheep is so slow. Come on, sheepy. What are you, a sheep Bert or a sheeparella? I don't know that I necessarily like either of those. Sheep. Sheep Efferson? No, that one's too clunky. Sheepy Sheeperton the third? That one kind of has a ring to it. Should really make a little bit of a clearer path between our, from our base out to the beach. Kind of always a mess of navigating through the uh, leaves and things. All right, just about got you back. Now, it wasn't the furthest distance we had to travel to to go get a sheep, but it uh, definitely isn't as easy as just having it on the same mainland here, but all right, come on in, come on, come on, you can do it. Maybe you can't. Can you not get through the door? Hey, quit being a sheep. All right, there we go. Go ahead and put our door back up, because, you know, it's getting dark. I want to make sure someone knocks before they come along. Hey, don't go down there. All right. And I am bringing you over to your nice new home. It's just going to be where you get to live forever. Which, considering the difficulty that they had getting in our front door, I'm willing to bet that... That they can't sneak through this little, little gap here. Nice. All right, so it looks like that plan of mine's gonna work out. Here, you can have one for, for coming along for the road there. All right, nice, very nice. We got our first sheep. And let's see. I think where did I stick those emeralds? Maybe in our valuables. Ah, oh, we've only got four emeralds. Dang. Well, it was five for that Nautilus shell, so I guess we gotta gotta let that Nautilus shell from the traveling salesman go by, but uh, we'll take a nap and see if we can't steal one of his llamas. Because apparently that's what I do now, is uh, just steal llamas. It, it worked out so well the first time. Now we got it because the lead broke, so I wonder if I can just, like, cut the lead? Got to make sure I don't accidentally hurt the llama or the traveling salesman, though, because then I think they start attacking me. And while I am going to steal this llama, I want it to like me. All right, let's see here. Hey, don't don't go walking away. You don't know what I'm about to try and do. All right. Well, that didn't work. That didn't work. That's not working. What if I get on you? Can I ride you?
Hmm. Oops. Well, I don't know how to how to get at it. It doesn't look like it'll uh let me cut the cut the lead on this guy. Do you like wheat? I got tasty wheat. You just gotta run real hard and break your lead. No? That yeah, was worth worth trialing. Hey there, sheepy. Or uh <laughs> Nope, rabbit. Very different from a sheep. I wonder if there are any sheep over here though. We haven't really explored this general area too much. It's worth a little little gander quick. Ooh, there's a big old gap right there. And the water's frozen over, so that would hurt more than than normal. It's just funny to me that there's the big turtle beach right over there, and then this big snowy patch right here. Good old Minecraft world generation. Oh, hey, more pumpkins. And more pigs. We've got so many pigs around our base. Don't they know I don't want a whole bunch of pigs? Oh, look at that. These bunnies are two-toned. Well, that's fun. I wonder if you can catch them. I mean, I'm sure you can. Ooh, wow, look at this. Big old above-ground lava pool. Well, that's going to make getting obsidian a lot easier. But this area is kind of neat. Glad we decided to come check this spot out a little bit. As we look for sheep. Well, there's a bunch of chickens. We've got chickens and pigs galore around us. Oh, and there's some more. Ha-ha! <gasps> -ha! Found ya! Well, there seems to be where all the animals like to hang out. Ooh, hey, yeah, horses, too. Nice. Okay, well, there we go. That'll make uh, the second sheep a lot easier to find. Granted, these are both white sheep that we found, and we did at least manage to get that brown sheep, so... So that's good. I wonder if there's any black sheep around here. Ooh! Ooh, sheep jackpot! Look at this. We got a gray sheep. That's maybe a black horse. Which is still exciting enough, but... And actually, this might be getting kind of close to our starting base area. I remember there were a lot of uh, horses and things since we kind of started out in a plains area. So that might be why this is all kind of kicking up. But All right, so we got this sheep, this gray sheep. Oof, big old pit. Big pit. We probably should try and get a white sheep. Just because it's always nice to have a, a blank slate. Alright. You two gray sheep are the same tone gray, right? Yeah. They're both like a light gray. I didn't know if one was maybe a dark gray or something. Yep, keep coming. Keep coming. That's okay. We only need one of you. All right, white sheep, and then we should should be good. I would love to find a black sheep, just because black is a relatively difficult color to to get. You gotta get the ink sacks to to make those. But all right, nice. Well, this was a successful little exploration off in this direction. All right. You guys keep on following me. And then we'll get to get to try out my other experiment to see Okay, you can't fit through. You're just being lazy. 
you want this wheat, you gotta keep following behind me. Alright, here's the Lily of the Valley area. Ugh, sheep are so slow. I suppose if I had a lead, I could uh, just kind of drag them along. But we need our lead to keep our llama in place. Until it's finally gotten full Stockholm Syndrome and decided to love us. Alright. Well, that was a significantly easier way to get two sheep. And you know what? We're just going to make it a little easier to get these these two inside. All right, keep on a coming. And up 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 up. Nice. Why do you all keep going that way? The caves are no place for sheep. Nice. Look at that. That is a, a successful ex exploration for some some livestock there. Come on. Come on, single file. Ugh. Come on. You can do it. Quit trying to go in together. One at a time. One at a time. Ugh. Alright, we're going to do this the the analog way. Yeah, that's right. Everybody keep coming this way, and then... Bup, bup. All right. Very nice. And as a reward, here is your wheat, as promised. And a little baby sheep. All right, baby sheep. We are experimenting with you. Can you fit through that little gap? Since you are small, but have a giant head. Come on. Come on, little baby sheep. Little baby sheep. Well, it looks like it can get pushed through. But it can't necessarily get out on its own. So that's also kind of handy. Maybe we can get rid of these big, ugly blocks right there. Come on, little guy. Keep coming. Okay, so then we'll just play a little bit of a risky... Nope, too risky. You out there. There we go. Nice. Alright, little guy, you ready to to go into your new pen where you'll stay forever. Fine, I guess you can go into that one. Nice! Alright! There we go! Oh, wow. Oh! The heck? Since when can they do that? I thought the whole point of the fences was they can't jump past it. I guess the little baby ones are super bouncy. Well, shucks. Oh my gosh, this little baby sheep, control yourself. Well, maybe we'll just have to... Do you just... Huh, that's funny. Your children are uncontrollable, apparently. Well, okay then, I guess we have the little baby sheep that's gonna keep being a rascal and sitting up... Oh, I bet because it's a full block. It's not jumping onto the... Ugh! So we can't do the full block technique then. But we did find that it doesn't seem like it can sneak out on its own. So... Let's see, we... Boy, you are bouncy. We're gonna need our... Cobblestone... Oh, I closed the gate on myself. Get our cobblestone wall back. We're just learning all kinds of stuff about sheep today. They're more annoying to wrangle than I remembered. 
Alright. Alright, little bouncy guy. We're keeping you... Keeping you in this section anyways. Do, 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 do. Make a whole wall. And theoretically, you won't get out of the wall. So I better close off. Close off this part of the gate. Alright, so theoretically, you are now trapped within the walls. And if I go into here, we close that. And now you're in there? Is that your new home? Is that just where you live? That might have worked. That might have worked. And aesthetically looks a lot better having that smooth wall all around. Nice. All right. Well, hopefully this guy doesn't jailbreak uh, in the meantime. And uh, otherwise, we'll just kind of keep growing our our sheep populations for a while. Yep, you are too full. That's all right. We'll get you yet. Nice. Very nice. All right. We got the start of our sheep farm going, which will help supply a lot of different colored wools. If we ever do find a black sheep, we'll definitely have to grab that, but otherwise we uh, we have our start here. Nice. Good, good, good. Can I ride you? You don't like it. Yeah, you sure didn't seem to like me doing that. Cool. Well, let's see then. I suppose next steps we can potentially go get some more sheep just to speed things up. Otherwise, we can start getting some dyes going. I think that guy wants to be blue. Do I still have that blue dye on me? Yeah, I do. And blue. Nice. Probably not actually going to want him to be blue in the, down the line, but yeah, there we are. Well, cool, cool. And I suppose we could actually uh, shear this first round of sheep because we're going to want to want to have lots of different colored wools. So I should probably I should probably set up a chest with each one. Where do I want to put all the different colored wools? I could have them like behind each of the sheep so that it's just especially if I can just sneak in and out of the back like this I could put the chest for each color along the wall let's try that that seems like a decent organization technique Boy, these produce a whole lot of seeds. Gotta get some chickens going soon so that we can actually put all these seeds to use. This fourth pumpkin just doesn't want to pop up. We'll get you yet. Alright. Oh, that's right. I took down my crafting table earlier to make room for getting our sheep in. There we go. And let's see here. So we're going to need a lot of planks to make a whole lot of chests. That only makes four. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight sounds good. All right. 
right, and then we'll put one there. Nice. Oh, but then I can't pass through anymore. Betrayed. Uh, I suppose I could... I suppose I could put it as being part of the wall, but then they probably can jump up on it again, and we're back at that problem. Hmm. What about... Because if I put it, like, as the fence post, then again, the issue is we can't get past. So I guess... I guess just back like that's probably... Probably plenty good putting it behind the station, and that's still easy to reach. So we'll have one there, one there, and one there. One there, one there. And one there. And then we'll put a couple... Actually, I suppose I could put the ones over here more on the end posts or something. Or I could just put them along this wall. We'll just have a, what, double chest right there? Mm, maybe we'll put it off-center. Ah, of course it got out of range there. Just kind of got to keep experimenting with the different... Oh, seriously? Because of the direction I'm at? Hmm. Sometimes I just don't understand why some of these mechanics work the way they do. I suppose it gives more options for, for being able to arrange stuff the way you want, but I just want it that way. Perfect. All right. Gets, oh, I should have grabbed our shears earlier, shouldn't I have? All right. Well, otherwise, though, I think that's a pretty pretty nice addition to our, our area that we've had. A nice uh, boosting up of things from the last time we were able to... Oh, shoot. Sorry, sheep. I'm so sorry. I was trying to shear you, not punch you. Nice uh, boost to things from from where we'd been before. Um, otherwise, though, that's probably probably about the the time I have for today to to hang out. It's been been a little oh nice you grew up already. Been a little over an hour since we got on, so glad everybody was able to come on and hang out. Who was able to able to get together? Can I feed you guys again yet? Nice. All right, little baby. We'll get you in your pen, and then we'll call it a call it a day. Uh, let's see. Can I even just give you a little, little, little nudge, little nudge this way? Yeah, keep going, keep going. Out of the big. Out of the big sheep pen. Time to get you into your own little, your own little cave. Hey, no, no, not that way, not that way. Gonna, gonna bring you in over here. No, I said over here. You listen to me, young man. You are coming into this pen, and you are gonna like it. It's gonna be your new home, and you are gonna be okay with that. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, the babies are even worse than the adults. Ugh. Get over here. Come on. Come on, little baby sheep. Alright, we'll close you off from that end. Come on. Come on, baby. There you go. Alright, now you should be stuck. Alright, perfect. Well, we'll close off our sheep pen so none of them break out. We got our double security going. And I guess we got our guard llama keeping anyone from, any of them uh, from misbehaving too much. So you're in charge of the sheep now. 
All right, go ahead and drop off our... Oh, and you know what? While I'm thinking of it, we'll do one last chest to keep our wheat in, so that way we don't have to keep uh, keep going back and forth. We can just keep our wheat right by the right by the sheep. All right, one more chest. And this one facing out there. And it's off center. There. Well, a little, little bit of room on each side. This will be our wheat chest. Just to keep that a little easier. All right. Well, like I was saying, it was uh, fun to have everybody on hanging out for a little while. Hope everyone has had a good weekend and is looking forward to Halloween tomorrow. Thanks for coming to... Oof, I am, I am not succeeding at this walking around like this. Okay, backwards. Backwards. Oop, now I'm in a wall. Let's get... Uh, get our pumpkins into view. Ugh, come on. Come on. Oh, oh, almost, almost there we go. So thanks everyone for coming on and hanging out before Halloween here. And we got our, our couple of jack-o'-lanterns going. And otherwise we got our sheep in our area to get some good color going. Hope you all had fun today. I know I had a good time, and otherwise hope everyone has a good Halloween tomorrow. But uh, this has been Crake and Bake, and doing uh, another episode of I Definitely Know What I'm Doing. And it was good to have you all around. See you next time.